Hey guys, hey, 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 hey. I am sitting in the car at school. We just did some official school work and um, a lot of paperwork and stuff done. I don't have any makeup on yet. So I said I'm going to go ahead and do some autism mom car makeup, yay! <laughs> so, um, and I'll show you guys what I have on and everything. I got this from this consignment shop that I've been loving here in uh, Fleming Island area, so. But um, let me go ahead and do some quick car makeup. I get so many questions about my makeup and what products I use and different things like that. And a lot of you guys know me from Mary Kay because I did Mary Kay for, gosh, I guess I it's been over 20 years. I still do Mary Kay. And um, so I use a lot of Mary Kay products. And now I've um, also tried a few different products that I have kind of wanted to try over the last few months just out of curiosity to see how they work or how they make my skin look or whatever especially some different things that Mary Kay doesn't have so I uh, do try a few different things now but mostly 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 uh, my makeup is from Mary Kay all right I'm going to show you guys how I do a quick what I call a Mary Kay like dash out the door makeup look and this is for those busy busy days where you don't really have time to do a whole face of makeup and then I might do a little bit more intense makeup when I get home just because we're going to be doing some promo videos today and I think I'm going to be uh, shooting for my album cover for my new single, Praying For You. And then I have my new Christmas song, Christmas Star. So we got to do some album covers today. So probably hair and makeup will get done. But um, let's see if I have the right products in my purse. I usually use my Beige Mary Kay Concealer underneath my eyes. And I'll sometimes mix it with the light bronze. I don't have it in my purse today, so this is just a knockoff of what I normally use. Well, a little bit here and a little bit here. And I'll leave that on and then I'll use my Mary Kay. I love this. This is dark brunette and this is kind of like a brow, a tinted like a brow gel. And I love this. This gives you a really great brow. And um, I love the way this looks. See how nice it gives you your brow. You can really shape it the way you want it shaped. And it brushes the brow. If you have any gray in your brow, y'all, y'all know how we can have a little bit of gray in there sometime. As we get older, it'll cover it right up. I have a scar on my eye. When I was young, about Gabe's age, I used to be really hyper, just like him. And we were moving into a new um, house, and I remember, I remember, I ran in the house and uh, ran right into a wall. <laughs> Had to get stitches in my eye. So yeah, I was a little hyper, not diagnosed with autism, just hyper. <laughs> I think they wanted to give me some medication. My mom said, "Uh, no, no, and no." So it's okay if your kids are hyper because they can grow out of it. One of the things that um, one of the things that she did with me is she kept me very very busy. Even though I was hyper, she kept me in like um, band. So I played the saxophone, I played the clarinet, and I sang. And so I was in band lessons. All the, I was in a, in the band at my school. And I took private saxophone lessons, clarinet lessons, and then I took voice lessons. I took tap lessons. I took uh, jazz, tap, ballet. I took piano lessons. So I was in almost every lesson that there was. That's what the way that she made sure that I used my energy towards positive instead of negative, you know? So 
that's something that she did. So it's okay if your kids are busy. You just have to put that busyness into something good. You know what I mean? So after I put my concealer on, I just kind of blend it. And I love these sponges. You can use any type of sponge. But these are my, some of my favorite sponges are the ones from the hair store. So this is kind of how I do my concealer under my eyes, guys. Really simple. Really simple. Just like that. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my new favorite products. This is Bye 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 Pores, and I'm going to take that and pick this up at Ulta. And you see how smooth that makes underneath my eyes look? Oh my gosh, I love that. So I take that. Yeah, you fit right underneath my eyes, and it just really... I mean, it gives you this really smooth, flawless look underneath your eyes, you guys. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to take it and put it just... Okay, so now I'm looking a little pale and washed out. What I'm going to do is take some bronzer. And this is just car makeup. I see you guys you take it from here and you don't you try not to let your bronzer go below that line so it kind of gives you that lifted cheek not all droopy but lifted we ain't trying to look droopy we're trying to look lifted speaking of lifted I have my garment on today so I'll show you guys what it looks like my butt is looking lifted in my skirt okay <laughs> so we ain't trying to have nothing drooping so you can see this just gives me a little bit of color and Mary Kay does have a bronzer this one that I'm trying today is by makeup revolution it's a vivid fake bronzer I like it it's in my purse so I put that on and then I'm going to take my Mary Kay Compact. Hope it's in here. Yes. And this is the Mary Kay Compact, which I love. And you can customize it and get whatever, whatever colors you want in there. And I have an all this coral. So I am going to put on some of this coral cheek on top of my bronzer. That was a little too much. A little too much coral, baby. Gonna have to tone that down. But you can see I kind of I like to sit it like right on top of the bronzer. Like right there going on up. Mm-hmm. And I haven't really been doing a lot of eyeliner. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this dark brown from my palette here and use it as eyeliner. You guys can just see it just gives you, I love using the eyeshadow because it really gives you a softer look. And I believe this color is Espresso. But I will let you know what the color is. Okay, and you can see this is it's not too dark, not too light. And I'll take a little bit of this same brown here. And I'll just put it on the top of my eyes too. Because I'm just doing a really quick dash out the door look, guys. So dashing out the door, you don't need no whole whole bunch of makeup, okay? It's kind of gonna be 
it's kind of sultry because it's brown instead of black but it's not as sultry as it would be with the black and it's just a dark brown okay so that's that the excess powder from there now I'm going to show you guys another little trick this is um, a contour I'm going to take a little bit here this kind of makes your nose look a little smaller the side of your nose and it gives you some good contour guys here on your nose area if you want to make it kind of look a little bit thinner you can see it kind of just gives you a little contour there and then what I'm going to do is add a little bronzer right down the center and this is pretty much basically it this is my dash out the door look I'll brush my hair back put my ponytail back y'all and um, this is some quick makeup and you can do this while you're in the car like myself your kids are in therapy little bronzer on your nose and I take it on down okay so it's like you have your bronze stripe just a little here and I'll tell you what this bronzer has taken my makeup game to the next level okay I'll be feeling young and fun with my bronzer <laughs> I'd be like oh my gosh I'm bronzy <laughs> I love it y'all so, I'll just tone everything down with a little bit more powder to set it all. You can see that. Tones it down just a little bit. Don't take a lot of makeup, you guys. It sets it all. And then, let's see if I have any lip liner in here. It looks like I only have a red. I don't really want a red on my lips. So I think I'm going to do, let's see if I have a lipstick that I can use. I have on this coral, so I'm going to use, eh, this is kind of too orangey for what I'm going for, but I might use it just a little bit as a liner. This is a lipstick. I hear kind of, kind of lightly. Line my lip with it. And then I'll go in with some lip gloss on top. Okay. You guys see it for yourself. Autism mom car makeup. Yes. And that's how you do it, guys. You see that? Right here in the car. You can just turn it on and you can turn it off. Do y'all see what I'm saying? A little makeup ain't never hurt nobody. It always makes you feel good. And I love it. So this is a quick little tutorial on how I can do my makeup right in the car, guys. 
and let me see for my hair. I th thought I had a brush in here. Is there a brush in here? Is there a brush in here? Oh, here it is. Okay. <laughs> Gotta keep a brush in the car. <laughs> okay. All right. I was looking for the brush. Five minutes later. Five minutes later. So, okay. So let me give you an update on my hair while... While we're sitting here, I might as well give you an update on my hair, too. Um, this is probably my... This is my second Pravana Keratin treatment that I've had. And this is my... Um, I think it's been about maybe a month since I had it, almost. Headed towards a month. So, I love it. This is a great treatment. Um, it kind of it's basically like a perm, but it's not a perm. And um, bra strap showing, but it's basically like a perm, but it's not a perm. But I love how it makes my hair. I've been natural. I was natural for maybe like I was natural for years, and um, it just felt like I was just pulling my hair out. So I was natural for about three or four years and I basically ended up pulling so much of my hair out because I was not taking good care of my hair and so that's uh, one of the reasons why I was looking for something different um, so I was just putting the wig on you guys and I don't know if anybody else is guilty of this like me it has to be I know I can't be the only one but I was just putting the wig on just letting the wig uh, be my out outward thing and um in the house I wasn't doing anything to take good care of my hair I wasn't combing through my hair I was my underneath the wig my hair was just getting matted up and it just was not good so I wanted something where I could start taking better care of my hair and so I got um, my neighbor had this Pravana treatment and I absolutely loved it her hair always looks so healthy and pretty and long and it's her own natural hair and um, I end up getting the same treatment and I love it so far so good my ponytail is getting longer you guys can see it's growing I'm so happy and satisfied with it my ponytail is getting longer it's growing and um, overall I really just love the treatment and my hair the way my hair feels it's soft it's silky and it just is doing good the first time that I got it this side of my hair is thicker than this side of it I think over the years this side has been over processed and so this side is naturally just a little thicker and so my this side of my hair um, was a little thicker and the first time it took it didn't do it as it I think it took it took this side better took the right side better than the left but this time I think both sides took pretty evenly and um, yeah I'm, I feel really good about it I try not to put any heat on there because she doesn't suggest that you put heat on there unless it's washed or whatever and um, so I'll go back for a deep conditioning and just keep it up but I overall I like it the first treatment it lasts so what you guys were asking me was how long did it last and so the first treatment the the product lasts me with my hair three months and uh, she said it grew a lot and it was um, maybe because it's Florida and it's so hot but my, my that might be the way my hair grows so my treatment lasts three months I had no problems with it shedding or anything like that and what else do I want to say about it oh and it cost uh, me two hundred dollars so that's the cost of the Pravana application, the actual application. Before she did the treatment, she asked, um, she had to actually look at my hair. She actually did my hair before she even um, agreed to put the Pravana in there because she had to make sure that my hair would be a good candidate. So I went over for a consultation. She did my hair like a wash and set just to kind of see what kind of hair I had and to feel the texture and everything to see that it would work good for it and so yeah overall i'm super duper satisfied i love the pravana and uh i hope that i can get it and have it for years to come like my neighbor she's had hers for 15 years and her hair always looks great she's beautiful her hair always looks amazing and she's rocking her own hair and and i love that y'all know i love my wigs and my weave and all that good stuff but i also want to be able to feel comfortable and confident and rock my own hair as well so i don't want to always feel like i have to have on 
these wigs to feel pretty, to feel glamorous. You know, that's not the way I want it to be. So anyway, loving this. $200. The first application lasted me three months. This is my second time getting it. It's going more into fall. So we'll see how long it lasts this time. And I'll just keep you guys posted. But overall, really happy with Pravana Keratin treatment. Okay. So I will keep you guys posted with that. I am ready. You guys can see this is the look, y'all. This is the look. Autism mom makeup at its best right in the car because that's most of the time where we spend that's where we spend most of our time right in the car so you can do a quick little 10 minute makeup dash out the door for yourself from the car if you like these type of videos you guys please um give this video a big thumbs up it really helps to support my channel please subscribe and if you're another autism mom out there let's stay connected and support one another i love sharing the journey and meeting so many of um my sisters out there that are on the same journey as me oh my gosh I know this road can be rough and tough, but you know, we got to stick together. So definitely if you're on the journey, leave me a note, say hello, leave me a heart or something in the comment section. Like the Pravana Keratin updates, leave me a like. If you want some Mary Kay at a discount price, look for the discount code in the description code, especially if you don't have a consultant. I would love to be your consultant and service you for any of your Mary Kay skincare makeup needs. Okay, so with all that being said, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching my video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.